Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com, and today we're taking a look at the Logitech G700S. This is the wireless uh, gaming mouse that was just released on the market. Uh, as you can see, it's got a nice ergonomic design, and it's got a plethora of buttons. You've got um, one, two, three, four buttons here on your left-hand side. You've also got your scroll wheel, and uh, of course, you've got you know your left and right mouse buttons. Uh, you can also have a um, bunch of profiles here on the on the mouse so you have basically in total of 11 buttons altogether so it's you has got your G11 uh, G8 9 10 and of course the other G buttons here on the side the bottom of the mouse uh, houses the rechargeable battery which is charged by a micro USB cable which you are provided with and also an extender so you can actually have this extended quite long if you're your PC is far away, or at least your power source for the the mouse. This mouse can be used as a wired mouse, so using the micro USB cable. So if your battery is dying, you can still plug it in and keep on playing, gaming, and using the mouse on a very regular basis. Now, a couple of things to note with this mouse is uh, it's, it's it's got a couple of settings, and if you look on the screen here, and let's go to a web page, you see you do have the scroll feature. Um, and you also have a fast scroll by, by pressing that button on the top there and allows you to smooth scroll all the way from the top to bottom so you have those options just naturally built into the mouse now Logitech uh, also has this bundled with uh, the gaming software and if you look on the screen you can see that you have a couple of options you can auto detect game settings and also you have onboard memory now if we go to auto detect game settings we can actually look at what we have for games built in so uh, you can actually download profiles that um, uh, Logitech has with present games on the market so I have Bioshock Inf and Infinite I have a default program I have my Half-Life and I have uh, Touchlight 2 so games that are, I'm actually playing at the moment and you can set up commands uh, all the way uh, for all the buttons you want you can see all the different functions you can actually set commands for so we have um, uh, commands for buttons for your scroll wheel uh, and so on and so forth as you can see here your DPI up and down are handled by your G10 and your G9 buttons uh, you got your left wheel, uh, uh, scroll wheel right scroll wheel you can change your uh, mouse buttons if you want to so I can click on that I can actually set default generic or unassign it which whichever way I choose uh, for that and if I head back home and I switch to um, game board mode here I can actually go in and check my profiles I can set up to five profiles on the mouse so for that's for five different games as you saw earlier um, I can also check change my DPI sensitivity here all the way up to 3200 so this is a 3200 uh, DPI mouse and I can choose my uh, my pulling rate and I can also set my power mode for gaming so I can have uh, my normal gaming mode or max gaming mode to use the most out of the mouse or just a power saver mode so it actually will shut down or at least will turn off uh, more quickly while not in use uh, a couple other things here too um, we can look at some of the you can check for updates for your G7 uh, 700S and a couple of general options here now in terms of use and just gaming the first of all what I like about this mouse is that it's very comfortable the ergonomic design allows you to just place your hands on the mouse quite comfortably and use without any stress whatsoever uh, the buttons are easily accessible especially uh, the G buttons here on the side and also these ones to uh, by your thumb um, even though it might take some time to get used to since you have four buttons here but it's quite easy because of the way the button layouts are made so you have the indentation uh, from the lower button up and the uh, upper button also which allows you to hit both buttons individually without actually um, making mistakes or hitting the edges of the buttons now uh, the mouse uh, feels very comfortable very smooth in gaming sessions I had no issues what at all uh, using this mouse to game um, uh, the there literally was no lag time so I didn't feel like you know while I was gaming um, I was having issues with the mouse or anything like that but I do like the fact that it's got the profile it's got the Logitech software that adds to it and gives you um, uh, a lot to work with in terms of um, uh, customization and things like that on your mouse now I believe this mouse is priced at uh, $99 I could be wrong but I will get the exact 
pricing for you for this, but it's quite affordable. Um, yes, it is priced in $99. It's, it's quite affordable mouse, and for a wireless mouse as well as a wired mouse, I think this is pretty much one of the best ones I've used on the market. So I, I would say definitely this is worth picking up because you can uh, you can have up to 13 programmable controls. You can do data over wire as well, and you've got just consistency in terms of uh, pull rate as well as DPI uh, with this mouse. So I say this is a definite buy, and if you guys are looking for a wireless mouse that also can be wired, uh, this is the, the mouse for you to pick up, the Logitech G700S rechargeable gaming mouse. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with 2 O's. This is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.